セブン、CD ロムになって大きな変化っていうのはその。The most significant difference to us was capacity. Before, we were given restrictions in capacity, so we had to create one basic model and fiddle around with it, making players believe there were variations. It was a good way to become resourceful in limited circumstances. But on the CD ROM, that restriction was completely taken away, and we didn't have to worry about various ways of modifying one basic model. If we needed 100 models, we could create each of them from scratch. The basic concept you have when creating RPGs is to imitate the real world and create a fictional world within the game. We have followed that concept in previous versions of this series, but technically, we had to use one basic model in different ways or use a world symbolized specifically for game use. Now it is much easier for us to achieve our original goal. We can now express more of the real world in the game. The number of simultaneous music output channels used to be eight in the Super NES. Now it's 24. We leave eight of them open for sound effects, so we have 16 to use for the actual music. That adds a lot of richness to the music. For example, when you hit the piano keys with both of your hands, you get 10 notes at once, and you won't be able to create that kind of a sound on Super NES. Suppose we create that piano type sound with 10 notes and you still have 6 notes left. This means you can fit in sounds of other instruments, and this certainly adds complexity to the game. えっとですね、まあ、今回に関してもコンピュータグラフィックスの技術っていうのを二通りのパターンとしてゲーム中に。We were able to use two types of CG technology in this game. One is the movie technology, where you create motion pictures using CG software and store it on CD ROM. The other is polygon based technology, where you create 3D objects and make them move. It is amazing to see new images being generated one after another, and all being played smoothly on the game console. You realize how powerful current technology is. Thanks to CD ROM, cinematic expressions which were impossible in the past have become available. For example, we can now show close ups on characters' faces, and using various camera angles, the game screen is no longer a stage like space. However, movies can be seen in movie theaters. In order to make this thing attractive to game players, We tried hard to put playable elements in the scenario. We made it so players will not have to follow our pace. In previous games, there were big differences between ordinary scenes and special effects scenes, and they were arranged in a certain order. The players would accept that as an established style and take for granted characters going through monotonous map scenes and then special effects being used in highlight scenes. They understood it as the grammar of the games, especially RPGs. We tried to break that understanding. For example, even in map scenes, the characters won't just move horizontally, but special, sometimes thrilling effects are added. In highlight scenes, we didn't make it too elaborate so that it will excessively stand out from the other scenes. The players will enjoy the flow of the game from the beginning through the ending, without noticing any intervals or arranged orders. In battle scenes, we use a lot of camera angles and effects, paying attention to space and 3D. Therefore, the battle scenes become the highlight scenes. The 3D effect is best shown when you use summon beasts. These have always been the most attractive scenes in games, but we had to struggle on how to show them effectively in 2D atmospheres. Now, using 3D technology, more broad effects have been accomplished. フィールドを歩く時の曲が
The music in the field scenes, which is where the character walks around, has a unique flavor that no other RPGs had in the past. We intentionally eliminated the up-tempo, inspiring, rousing type of feel, meant to encourage you to embark on a journey that usual RPGs have. Instead, some parts of the music will rise melodiously, some parts will make you feel insecure, therefore creating various expressions within the same field of music. I assume players will get a different feel from it compared to previous RPGs. To tell the truth, I hope so, since this is my own experiment.